currently 4 in the morning and I'm having my coffee. I have a big week and so I'm gonna try to vlog as much as my week as I can. Sorry if I'm like whispering. My boyfriend is sleeping so I don't want to wake him up. I have a ClinMed exam at 8.30 and I have to like cram super hard this morning because I'm a little nervous. Okay, so this is my outfit. You guys always like comment on my um, TikToks about what I wear like business casual wise to school. So this is like an example. Now I'm gonna go take my exam and rush to school. Oh, good. Elise? You're going to you. I'm on my way home from class. It is 5.05 p.m. and I have a lot of stuff to do still whenever I get home. The exam went better than I thought that it was gonna go. I'll keep you guys posted whenever the grades come out. Usually the grades are out by now, but the exam was on gastrointestinal disorders. So it covered a lot of material, but I did enjoy studying for it. It's currently 9.15 and i just did my skincare got ready for bed i have my retainers in so i'm probably talking kind of funny but tonight i literally was just dead basically like my friends and i hopped on a call and we started prepping for our oski on thursday i'll show you guys like how we kind of like prep for it and if you don't know what an oski is it's basically just like a patient simulation so you don't know what the patient is going to be presenting with and you have to go in and perform a physical exam get like their medical history come up with like a treatment plan it can be like a little nerve-wracking because you just like don't know what you're gonna get and you don't know what to expect but we know it's going to be an emergency and we know we're going to be in like a hospital setting so so we write down like our old carts here for the HPI and then we go into our ROS. Um, we think that this is going to be either like appendicitis or cholecystitis um, or acute pancreatitis. So we write down like our physical exam, um, what findings we might find. We write down all the special tests. So now I'm going to go get a good night's sleep because I have another big day tomorrow. I have my ALE and I have a full day of classes. So I got to be on top of it and I will see you guys in the morning. It's Tuesday morning and I am ready to go to my ALE. So I'm having breakfast in my car as usual. The site is about an hour and a half away from my apartment. So I will be driving for a little bit, but I'm gonna listen to my podcast. I listen to Cram the Pants and it literally helps so much. I couldn't recommend him anymore. If you guys don't know what an ALE is, it's something my program does. It's called an applied learning experience and we have the opportunity to go to a different site every Tuesday. However, we usually only do like two per person per quarter. So this is my second one that I'm going on and it's cardiology. So I get to go in and kind of like follow them around. They get to teach me stuff. I'm done. It's a really great experience. These always are. This one, I saw a lot of like heart failure, vacation checks, a lot of EKGs, um, stress test results, echocardiogram results. One thing that was super interesting that apparently there's a couple prisons around here. And so this is the cardiology clinic that a lot of the inmates go to. And that was very like interesting and something that like I would have never honestly like expected to see today. And I honestly just love getting opportunities like that because like I might like never, you know, get to have an opportunity to be with like inmates and guards and stuff. So that was successful. That was a good time. I thought it was moving. Running into class now.
I'm just now leaving school. We were practicing our physical exam skills for our OSCE. I can never open this door. I can't wait to go home and get in bed and eat and then be back here early again. So I'm currently in bed and I'm editing a presentation that we have tomorrow in class and ours is on HIV awareness and prevention and education. We're doing it in like Google Sheets and this is for our public health and evidence-based medicine class. It's like a Shark Tank style presentation. We have this tomorrow and then I'll prepare more for the OSCE and our surgical practical exam that we have on Friday. It is Wednesday morning. Right now it's like 7 50. My whole group is wearing red because that's on like the HIV awareness color. I'm in a rush, as usual. Going to make my coffee, make my breakfast, and get out. All right, outfit, and I'm bringing another sweater for my friend. It's like at the point in the quarter where I just like wanna crawl out of my skin, and I'm trying to like remain positive and stuff. One thing that will be interesting today, and that like I'm thankful that I get to learn about is we have a PA who like specializes in child abuse cases coming to lecture us so that's going to be a three-hour lecture with her and I feel like that's so amazing like learning about like the warning signs and how can we like what are some strategies we can go about like helping the child I'm really looking forward to that so this is us waiting for our presentations to start <laughs> It's like a literal real shark tank. Well, I'm on my way home. It is 4.45, so I got out of class a little early. Everyone's presentations went so well. One class down and I don't even, too many to count, more to go. I gotta go home and I'm gonna practice the OSCE on my boyfriend. I'll try to get some clips of how I practice. I just wanted to explain to you guys really quick while I'm doing this that I more just practice on my boyfriend to go through the motions. Um, the technique may not be perfect. That is why I stay after class and practice with my friends. Right here, I'm just going through the steps and going through the motions with him. So my boyfriend and I just got some Chipotle and we're gonna eat it at home. I'm so tired. It's like 7 a.m. But I actually got good sleep last night. I went to bed at like 10.30. Now I need to get up and practice my OSCE. So I gotta leave at 9.30. My boyfriend leaves me little notes like this to keep me going. And it's really cute and it actually helps. I am slicking my hair back today. This is the gel that I use. It's the Eco Styler. I'm making my greens because I'm not gonna drink coffee this morning because I'm already like a nervous wreck. Cereal, greens, and we're gonna go review. All right, if it's appendicitis, we're gonna do these special tests. We're gonna order these labs, this imaging. We're gonna do this treatment. We're gonna consult this. And then we did the same thing for cholecystitis, pancreatitis, and chronic pancreatitis. So we're just gonna hope that it's one of these and that we're prepared for these, but if it's not, then we're still gonna be fine. Okay, so I have my white coat on and I am going to practice a little bit before I leave. I'm feeling good about this. I also forgot to tell you guys that 
months. Remember whenever I took the uh, GI exam on Monday? I had a 97 on it. That's why I think I'm feeling so good is because like I know the information really well. Do you take any medications? Lisinopril, how uh, many milligrams? 40 once a day. We're ready, we're gonna leave, and I'm gonna let you guys know how it goes, but I'll, I'll also show you guys like the center and stuff. Okay, we're here. This is the simulation lab. Can you come in, make a left, first hallway on the right. Thank you. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> oh my god. You guys, I did so good. Proctor literally wrote damn so impressive on my paper. Okay, so let's chat. As she was presenting with right upper quadrant pain, jaundice for two days, fever, and chills. So I kind of knew from that where to go with my physical exam. I did a Murphy's sign, which was positive in the room with the so I knew immediately I'm like gallbladder looked at the imaging and first thing I saw on the abdominal ultrasound was abdominal wall thickening I'm really happy with how it went I'm on my way to grab some breakfast with my friends so we're going to eat and then we're going to open lab and then I'm gonna go home yay so hungry French fries. <laughs> so this is for the little boy. We're putting from Santa's elves on the little ones. So I am at home and it's my boyfriend's older brother's like birthday dinner tonight. I feel pretty good about my practical tomorrow, so I think I'm gonna go and just be a human for a sec. But in the meantime, I'm gonna sit here, I'm gonna run through my suturing and then have my boyfriend like uh, check me off and grade me before we go. So this is my outfit for dinner. <laughs> Friday and I'm about to get up and practice my clinical skills for my practical today. I look crazy but I only have six days of this quarter left after today.
so I'm gonna try to make mine look like these in the exam. The categories on our exam are staple placement, staple removal, suture placement, suture removal, three different injections, one IM, one ID, and one sub Q. We have a blood draw station, and then we have procedure note station. Overall, I'm feeling pretty good about this exam because I feel like we've had so much practice. All right, it's time to leave. I have a good feeling. All I can think about is the Starbucks that I'm gonna get to reward myself when I'm done. I'm at school waiting. I got here really early. So I'm out of the practical and it went really well. And if I did like all my calculations right, I got a 97. So I'm very happy about that. I'm gonna go and grab some lunch and then I'm going to grab some Starbucks and then I'm gonna go home and I'm gonna review and study for uh, my final that I have on Monday. Thank you, you too. Thank you. Study time. I'm sitting at my desk at home. I was debating on going somewhere else, but I just wanted to be like cozy at home today. It's a special day. It's my last Friday for three weeks studying. Woo! We have a pediatric final on Monday, a surgery final on Tuesday, a clinical medicine final on Thursday. I'm gonna review for our surgery final because we have like a lot of new information that we haven't been tested on yet. And so I need to get through all of that info. I'm just gonna leave it at that for today. So this is the first thing I'm gonna study for surgery. Basically, this is just like common surgical instruments, as you can see, and the indications for when we use each. I'm gonna need to be able to identify each and the indications for when to use them. My friend Elise makes the best study schedules and I'll show you the one that she just sent me. So this is for our pediatrics final, our surgical and our clin med final. And it really helps like seeing the material you have to do versus um, how much you get done. So I'm kind of having a hard time focusing. So one of the things that I like to do is turn on a YouTube study with me. I'm gonna do a three hour study with me right now because I've already been studying for about an hour. This is Merv. I use her all the time. My friend Becca actually told me about this and it has literally changed everything. Um, they do 50 minute study increments with 10 minute breaks. It's not that funny. 